Hello and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And before we start, again, let me minimize OBS. I forget this because I need to stop and restart the recording. There we go. So last time we just sold stuff and we're going to recall back into the ruins. There goes. And yes, we took everything. And now we're going to save before this guy's noticing us. It's hard to attack him from back here, even though I do have range attacks. Okay, he's going to come up, so I'm going to use my fire plate. Am I good or what? No, you're not. I'm not up that easily. But I've not heard these before. I've not heard these voices before. It, it might be that the, the guy who made the mod, or I'm assuming that this is the person who made the mod that we heard, so I'm assuming it's a guy, but the person who made the mod actually recorded the voices themselves. You okay, know, this is ranged fighters, so let's just blast them with our fireball, uh, which would be more effective if we actually hit like this. You know what? I'm just going to heal myself with your health. Thank you very much. Stop it! That's what you are. Lalala Nilas. Also typical. <sighs> yeah, this happens quickly in this game. I think we can. We don't need to mark. We did not we did not walk far. But I really love the absorb health effect, to be honest. There. <sighs> yes, that's the problem that you have when you're an adventurer. Especially in Dwarven Ruins, because, well, normally in Dwarven Ruins, everything is super heavy, of all the Dwarven things. When I was younger, I used to think that these things are super expensive, but they actually are not that expensive. And the outfitter, I think we also... No, we did not drain their money. Okay. That's our sword. 327. Thread 9. Okay, I think we are going to just... Leave it at that. 16. Uh, meaning we just sell the stuff that we have now. Where is the extra weight? I could be extra... Something like this. We still have something more than before. And then head to sleep and fetch. And it go on, basically, because the rest is laying in front of the temple. Just money waiting to be made, basically. But we're not going to make it now. Until healed. And then recall. Yep. So that woman is here, but we want to keep on the right hand side. Is there? Look around the corner. I'm going to go in there. No, there's nothing here. Oh, well, if I'm down here, honestly, I can just loot this little camp. Nice. It, it lets me sleep, so this means that there is no enemy nearby, which is nice. What is the blue thing? Oh, steel arrow, okay. More barrels. So this again enables us to do some alchemy, because we got lots of ingredients. 
That's super nice. Okay, now let's head back upstairs and fetch these. Take these with us too. And then. I always thought of these as kind of the starter mushrooms because you look for them right at the beginning and you find lots of them in the, in the area around Sidanin. Sidanin? The underground drain. Let's save and then check this out. <laughs> this is a huge cavern system. I really, really like this. Lots. This this Belmora sewer mod has been made with lots of love. I really like this. So we went through woven ruins, now we're back in the sewers. Now we're going to be underwater even. We do have the water breathing spell. Oh, I should not deactivate spell casting when I want to use my water breathing spell. Okay, but there is nothing here. But it could have been. Same goes for here, but there are, there are shells that we can get things from. We didn't get anything here. And we did get a pearl. Is this an exit? It seems like it. Yes, this goes directly to the Thousand Lanterns way. So this is... This is the Thousand Lanterns way with a huge frame drop. And this is where we... So... Basically, this is the... Seems to be the shortcut exit. I could have just went here, right from the get-go. There we go, water breathing. Now, of course, we need to use a sword because we can't use fire magic underwater. the next one. They are, that's the bad thing about these. They are sometimes hard to notice. But they don't make a lot of damage, so that's okay. I could also just use that. That's that. Yes, no, there's still a slaughterfish, which is alive. I guess we basically came in some kind, into some kind of net. A uh, net. Nest is what I wanted to say. The sound sounds like I'm walking, like I'm, I'm, I'm treading water, but I'm actually diving. So the sound uh, that, that I make while walking is kind of weird. But hey, that's okay. So these, I'm going to dispose of the corpses, which makes it easier. Okay, there we go. And then we will see what else awaits us. So back here. We can't go through here, it seems. Nope. It seems like we cannot go through here. We are not small enough. We don't fit, so we don't sit. Simple as that. Is this, no, this is just some weird structure. Okay. So we can go back up. What about this? I guess this is where the fish were. Kind of hiding. 
And then these we already picked clean. And this is the secret entrance that we did not go into. I need to go up here. Whoops. Uh, I keep forgetting that I'm not playing raft. Because there you can, if you're in the water, you can just jump up out of the water. Yep, so this is... Is this also? This is water, yes. breathing effect on us anymore. It was unfortunate. Let's see, okay, we still have, we still have a good amount of, what are we doing? a good amount of uh, magical ending left. were these two. And even though we're going to head back to the surface, now you notice that this actually takes a lot of concentration out of me. So we went down here, it wasn't there. There is a water. So yeah, that's there's surface here. Isn't there? Yeah, but there's nothing here, okay. Okay, so that was a pile of nothing. Let's keep going with the right hand side. So keep here, get back here. Go this direction. This is also some place we already been. This is where we came from. And also this, does this just lead us here? So I'm just going to rest real quick to restore all of our energies and energies, energies. Okay, so this is just the, the fast exit, basically. And let me have a little sip of water first. Before we go on, you should also drink something. Remember, drinking is important. Stay hydrated, folks. <clears throat> and there's more of these. And this is just a chest. Just a chest with a steel mace. And nothing else. Well, we still did not find the person who we're supposed to give that skull. is mighty weird. So I'm just going to use Dispose of Corpse now just to, at least for these machines. And there is more doors, yes. A place that we have not yet been. Doesn't seem to be an enemy here. This desk is empty. This closet contains dwarven armor. Well, I don't know if it's nice, of course, but we can't use it. And that was some kind of um, gem. That's the English word for Edelstein. And this is the way back, I guess, to the Passage of Souls. 
Well, that was a short escapade. So let's head back down, and I guess there was another rule we could follow. Because I think... Yeah, we, we came down here, went then up there, exactly. Let us head back here. This, is this a way one can go? Is there? I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm too lazy to levitate over there just to see if there is something. And I don't think that you need to be able to levitate to be able to do this quest. Instead, we're just going to, I'm just going to get more comfortable here and we're going to head upstairs. There is someone there. And they're kind of ignoring us. It could be that it's because the door is closed. But still, I am going to just disarm the trap. Normally, they do open the doors. Do they? No, I think if, if they are locked, actually, they can't open them in this game. Lock to complex. What, what level do I have? Equality 1.1. I think that's the highest quality that I have, isn't it? Yes. So let's just use, what is it? 45. Let us just use our Anduzis unhinge, Anduzis open door. Unhinging is the scroll for it. And then just go back to our fire attack and see what happens. Well, apparently what happens is that I just and move there. There we go. You're growing weaker. There will be vengeance. This is not the last of this. Well, you know, um, you did ignore me all that time. Until I actually unlocked the door to your place. Leaf. Apprentices. Well, you know, this is not very high quality equipment that you have. <clears throat> but oh, now there are enemies nearby. Okay. So let us try doing some alchemy. Because that might actually lift some weight off of us. Of course, the most important is restoring health. That and restoring Magicka, but we don't have Restore Magicka. Oh yeah, that was the one that we already have. Restore Fatigue. Look at the sheer amount of ingredients that we can use to restore Fatigue. And we again gained a level. Awesome sauce. <clears throat> Just checking. There's anything that is interesting to actually do. Hmm. Don't want to go through all of these, in it, honestly. That's interesting. Drain fatigue. Oh, water breathing could also be a potion that we can do. Just because these are rather easy potions. Okay, and now our weight, actually the potions weigh less than the ingredients we used for them. So we actually made some room in our inventory. Okay, now we can just go on, drop a save. And so us following the right hand side would lead us here. But there is already someone dead here. So I think we came through here. And then did we go here? Was that, well, there is, there's still mushrooms here, so um, I think not. Or well, we just oversaw the mushrooms, but I think we did not go here. My nose is dried up. Uh, this is a weird feeling. Yes, we did not go here. This is a new area. Okay, you know what? Oh, 
This is way better. Just paralyze them, get our energy back, and then switch to the Dwarven Sword. So we came from here, so I'm turning in this direction. Just so we know, we want to go through the right-hand side. I'm failing casting spells so often. Oh no, we have... Weird things that we can just drop. There. And now we can just sell things. It's in the middle of the night. Yeah, my nose is dry. Say your needs. <sighs> my needs. I'm getting tired. Literally, so I'm, I think this is going to be the last episode that I'm going to record today. But tell me if you liked um, actually seeing me, if you like me having the camera going. Also, I think they have their money back now. Whoops, is that, that's a common ring, okay. Ah yes, I put the, the actual ring with Kaidos Kosadas, I now remember. And then we have our stuff, which is Master's stuff. He doesn't buy the stuff, so we need to go and visit. Just wanted to say the psychist, but uh, the um, yeah, basically the pharmacy. Yeah, I noticed them getting tired. The words are escaping me. It's getting hard to English. Pretty ladies around here. Nope, not a lot of pretty ladies around here, that's true. There's one pretty lady around, well not here, but the area, um, but she's downstairs in the Mages Guild, and she's mine. I'm okay, gonna go butter. Uh, so I'm going to sell the apprentices things, which don't bring lots of money, but they weighed a lot. Okay, let us let us head back. And we can just that was just torch being loaded. The, the the light source of the torch being loaded to the three D scene. There is someone. I think that is no. That's just a stellar thing. The one coming from down. I hear that someone is starting to fight with us, but I, ah, there is an archer out there. Oh, this is too easy. That's true because I can't get to you. But the thing that I can do actually is. These spawn walkers, skeletal minion, well they are. No, I can't levitate, I don't have enough. I don't have enough magicka to do stuff basically. I can do this fireball. Which does not do much damage and he ba he, he nearly kills me. I did not notice that he took away so much health with one shot. You should run now. Yes, I'm running, but not in the direction you're expecting. Because of course I want to kill him. Thank you for healing me. Two, 
two at once is hard for me. I guess I there is restore health. But I die too quickly if multiple people attack me. Ooh, this is going to be hard. This means I need tactic. Or a little help from my friends. <laughs> I do have this item which allows me to summon three enemies. <laughs> As you can see, I'm getting tired. So I'm going to stop this here right now. And um, I'm going to, well, not right now. I'm going to uh, go back and fetch the item that allows me to summon helpers. And then I can just go and use them to kill the people there. But killing the people there will have to wait until next week. Because I'm going to head upstairs now. And well, it's actually too early to go to sleep. But it's also too late or I'm too tired. Well, yeah, speaker does it help? Oh, sorry. Uh, so thing is, I did have role playing session yesterday, and we played until late in the morning. Oh, first of all, let me rest. Let me rest in game. So I think it is that one. Yes. And now I just need to, well, basically say goodbye to you people. We see each other next week. And next week I will then head head back and we will kill these bastards. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>